welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars. Depreciation is probably the most overlooked thing when people buy cars. Uh, it's interesting that a popular car can depreciate very rapidly, and that's when the heart overcomes the head, uh, the emotion uh, overcomes logic uh, when you're picking out a car. Probably the, the best authority for determining depreciation is a company, ALG, it stands for Auto Lease Guide. ALG is the Bible for all leasing companies and dealers for that matter when it comes to determining the, the residual and the residual is the value of the car after the lease has come to an end. So you had a 36-month car. What does the forecasting say that car will be worth three years hence? You can see a huge difference in depreciation between cars. Some cars will depreciate 75% in three years. Some cars will de depreciate 50% in three years. Some cars will depreciate 40%. Imagine uh, the average car now is around $30,000. So the difference between a 50% depreciation and a 75 depreciation is uh, around thousands of dollars. Unfortunately, you can't go directly. You can go to ALG.com on, on the internet, but you don't get the detailed information in there. You can access through ALG.com, that's the Auto Lease Guide's website, the recommendations. They'll tell you the higher depreciating cars and lower depreciating cars. If you want to get an exact number, you have to go to a car dealer, you have to call them up, and you have to ask them. They all have the ALG book. It's only issued to auto dealers and leasing companies. Banks all so they have them. Credit unions have them. Go to your credit union, go to your bank if they finance cars and say, I'm thinking about buying a uh, 2013 Honda Civic or I might buy a Ford Focus. I don't know which of the two I want to buy. Which has the less depreciation? They can look it up for you. They can tell you exactly the percentage of depreciation that you'll have from the time you take delivery of that vehicle to the time you turn it back in. I'm, I'm talking thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, whether you're leasing the car or not doesn't make any difference because if you're going to buy the car, you're going to make it up in trade-in value. A high resale value car with low depreciation uh, will give you thousands of dollars more when you trade it in on your next car. The worst thing you can do is buy a car without knowing whether... It's got, it's got higher low depreciation. Some of the things that go to create this thing of high depreciation aren't, isn't necessarily quality. A lot of it can be things like how many cars uh, are sold to the fleets, the rental companies, the leasing companies. Uh, Ford and General Motors are famous for selling a very high percentage of their total production to leasing and rental companies. Now, these fleets, they call them, you know, Hertz, Avis, National, they buy thousands, tens of thousands of cars at a time. And uh, when these cars come back on the market, which they cycle them back on the market because they want to have fresh rental cars uh, for their, you know, for their customers, they take these cars and they sell them at auction. So when they put thousands of uh, Ford Tauruses uh, through the auctions that have just come in off a of lease or rental, this brings down, it's a supply and demand equation. The more cars you sell and the lower the demand, the, then the lower the price of the car. One good guide is to look at the vehicles that have low fleet sales. And you can research this too online, Edmunds.com, uh, KellyBlueBook.com, Consumer Reports. We'll all have this. You can Google it oftentimes. Typically, the imports have higher resale value, lower depreciation. The imports typically have... Uh, less cars sold to fleet. Honda, for example, sells very, very few cars to fleet. Toyota sells uh, more cars than Honda, but not as many uh, as uh, Ford or GM or Chrysler. Ford and GM and Chrysler, and they have the highest, uh, they have the uh, greatest amount rate of depreciation, and it's largely because of the fleet. Some quality in that, of course, and, and there's also styling as part of that. Uh, you know, a, a very well-styled car will tend to have a higher uh, resale value, but, you know, not necessarily. A lot of things go into that, and people are unaware of it. But, you know, before you buy a car, know how much that car is going to depreciate uh, when you're ready to sell it or trade it in.
Earl Stewart.